Hi, welcome to the Totally Magic channel. Thought I'd show you a couple of items I got off a uh, website, Teamu. Now I know a lot of other magicians have been doing this and buying magic from AliExpress and Teamu. If you're not familiar with these, these are kind of like your cheaper Amazon variation. And uh, I bought this from Teamu. It cost around four or five dollars, I think. Uh, it's a clear guillotine. Some of you Tenyo fans will recognize something like this. And it's got a blade that you can see because it's clear, it goes through all of this. And you'll notice that you can demonstrate that the blade is solid and sharp. You can even, if you want, put a little bit of carrot in there or even a piece of paper. And when you push this down, trust me, that will be cut. But of course, the real magic lies in the fact that you can ask a spectator to put their finger through here. You can even put a bit of paper or something through the bottom hole. They put their finger in, watch the blade. And you'll find that the paper at the bottom or a piece of carrot or anything you put in the hole at the bottom will be cut but their finger will be intact. It's a great classic trick from many years ago and I think this is absolutely brilliant. Now, when I bought this, it didn't look like this. I have changed it because I like the clear. When I bought this, it looked like this. It had these kind of, I, I thought it was flames, but it's actually um, meant to represent blood. But I kind of felt this hid the blade too much. So if you do buy one of these, you'll notice that this is a sticker. So you can peel this off. And that's what I did. I peeled off the sticker off the front and then I bought some stripes that you normally stick down the side of a car and stuck these down here to hide the secret to the trick because it's hidden in this part of it. And I think this looks a lot more professional than this one. Uh, so that is the guillotine. Here's another trick from Team U. This one cost again about five or six dollars. And some of you will recognize this as a trick made by Magic Works and Tenyo over the years. And this is absolutely brilliant. I love this. Now, I would use my ring, but I couldn't get it off. Uh, so I've had to borrow a solid ring. And you say to a spectator, I want you to look at that ring, make sure there's no gaps in it at all. It's solid. Also, you'll notice I've got a sword that is solid metal. Here is a cabinet. Inside here is a little casket, which is solid all the way round. You can see that. If we open the lid and place the ring inside like that, close the lid. Now, what's important to note is that nothing can get through the top, the sides, the bottom of this casket. It's locked. We place that on the plinth and we protect it with this cover. And we place this over the top. I'm gonna to take the sword and push it through the top and out the other side and magically push it all the way down like that. I'm going to do this slowly so you can see it. There, nothing in the case. The casket is still shut. The ring is in there but the sword has penetrated down through the box. And in fact, let me lift this off. You can see now that the ring 
is inside here. And that is an amazing piece of magic. Now this particular effect is great. Now a lot of people complain about this not working properly. Uh, when I got it, mine also didn't work properly. Uh, some of you will know there's a little secret catch. Uh, all I did is I peeled off the bottom plate and I fixed it in there. I'm not going to go into what I did, but anyone that knows how this works, if you take the base off, you'll see that you can just alter the little spring on a catch. That's all I'm going to say. But for the money, this is brilliant. I love performing this. The third trick from Team U, this one I think was about seven dollars uh, but it's so well made I don't regret buying this. I've always wanted to be a magician that does a big illusion cutting a lady in half or into three and I can't afford that so this is superb. I've got a card already selected, so you can have a card chosen by a spectator, but I've already got one chosen, the Jack of Hearts. Now, on here, let me just take the stand off. You can see I've got this solid cabinet that you can see all the way through. And what I'm gonna do is to take this card here, and I'm going to feed it into the cabinet like this. And I want to do this at fingertips. There you can see it going in cleanly. Let me show you. Absolutely cleanly into the frame. Only one card in there, nothing else hidden. Yet, with a little piece of magic on the front, on the back, you will now see that... I can move the middle of the card. It's cut into three pieces. Look at that. That is amazing. The zigzag lady is what they call this. Yeah. To put it back into one piece, let's put it back together like that. And now, we can remove the card from here, like that, and it's repaired. And you can hand it out for examination. There is the cabinet complete. Now this particular trick, again, it's, I like this. It's very well made. It's not flimsy. You can't bend this. It's solid plastic and I know other YouTubers have made cardboard copies of these um, but for the price with free delivery from Teamu, I think this is great uh, and by the way I know some of you may think am I being paid or sponsored trust me I'm not for this sort of money I spent less than say $15 on three great tricks with free delivery I think they're great and I know a lot of other magicians say they're rubbish and uh, and that if you're learning magic and you're just doing simple tricks these are fantastic uh, I've got no complaints at all now what you could do with this it comes with this card but you could actually use any card what you would have to do is take this apart this does come apart if you break this apart Okay, it's just clipped together. If you carefully prise it apart, you can replace the card that they've already put in there with a normal bicycle card. So if you've got an old pack of bicycle cards, get a, a couple of duplicate cards and put this in. That way, you can start the trick off using a regular deck of cards like this and force the card onto them and use that in here. They are the same size, so you can just replace that and it makes it look a little bit more professional. You can also decorate this if you want, paint it or spray it if you want it to look more glamorous. 
Hope you enjoyed those three tricks from Team U. If you want to see more of this, let me know and I'll do some more videos on this. Till next time, take care.